I have three kidneys, but I wasn't born this way. You see, I was born with two kidneys just like everyone else, but I had this disease when I was born called hydronephrosis. And it basically is just a really big doctor word for my kidneys are failing on me. So that disease that I have, it enlarged my bladder, right? So what that means is I gotta take these fun little guys and shove them up my, my you know what? Bruh. Because I can't fully empty my bladder anymore. It's, uh, it's real fun stuff. But you know, you get used to it. So, over the next 21 years of my life, I was going in a downhill spiral with my kidney function. And let's just say that I could be very much unalive right now. Let's see, one day I got a call from the hospital saying that I needed to rush down there because somebody actually ended up in a car accident who was a perfect match for me. I was literally saved by an organ donor and I had a second chance at life. So what have I done with my second chance at life? Well, first let's rewind a little bit. So growing up, I loved music so much that eventually by 2012, I joined a band. We played shows here and there, you know, played around our local music scene and maybe a couple weekend runs out to surrounding states. Nothing, nothing too crazy, right? But then, immediately following my transplant surgery, we got signed to a record label. We immediately started touring the country and then eventually the entire world. I've seen the entire United States multiple times, went over to Germany, France, Switzerland, the UK, uh, Japan, Russia, the, just everywhere over there. It was insane. Went on tour with Hawthorne Heights. That was a fun little run. Japan with Hotel Books, that was cool. Full US tour with War of Ages, that was cool. Like Most of Flames, Ice Nine Kills, this one was probably my favorite one. And I did this for a couple years. It was, uh, you know, maybe eight months out of the year, I was gone. I was just out on the road doing what I loved. I loved playing music and I was just out there. I still have to take my meds every single day and. Get my monthly labs drawn and stay up to date on my overall health. But basically, if it wasn't for organ donation, I wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff. And see, I'm just trying to take the second chance at life that I received and, you know, live that life to the absolute fullest that I possibly can. And then, I fell in love with the idea of photography and filmmaking. I was doing it for the band and I was doing it for other bands while I was out on the road and it just kind of became a passion project of mine. And I loved that so much that I thought the next chapter in my book would be to make that a career. You know, I love making music videos. I love taking photos of the band's playing, of the landscapes that I saw, just everything. I loved it so much that I thought, let's just make a career out of this. Why not? And that is how we got here now. So what's in the future? Well, I'm getting married, continuing my filmmaking career, and hopefully trying to get this YouTube channel to pop off. In fact, if something were to happen with this whole YouTube thing, and I start making some money off of it, then I'll donate a portion of those funds to transplant funds or for people who are in need with a situation that was similar to mine. Because let's be real, if it wasn't for organ donation, I just wouldn't be here. So I just really wanna give back. So that's my story. If you're curious about anything else regarding my story or organ donation, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm an open book. Just drop a comment below and ask me. Subscribe to the channel to follow my journey. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day.